OBS has a new update. OBS 28 is out and it has a lot of new features, but is it ready for prime time? Am I using OBS 28 yet? Hello my YouTube friends! I did a video where I listed a lot of the new features that you can get in OBS 28. You can check it out right here. But as with many big updates, it comes with growing pains. And the number one question I get on my live streams is, should I be using or have I upgraded to OBS 28? Well the answer to that is no, I haven't. And I think it's time to talk about why. It's also important for anyone who takes streaming seriously to understand why. So you know what? Let's get to it! Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, if you aren't subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Now I've worked as a PC tech for most of my life. Fixing people's computers, removing spam and spyware, running updates, repairing and replacing hardware. I've probably built and imaged or upgraded more than 5,000 computers in my day. And as a tech, I have a philosophy that I think is pretty common among technical professionals. And that is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this applies directly to update software. If everything works the way you want it, an update has a better chance of breaking something than fixing something that's already working the way that you want it to. Now, this is particularly important for equipment that you use to make your living, so to speak. You're a live streamer if you're watching this video, and that computer is your tool to help you keep live streaming. You can't stream without it, so why would you update software that could negatively affect the tool that you use to stream if you don't need to? If it's working properly right now, leave it go. Unless there is a specific feature that you really need, or a problem that you're having that the update fixes, you're just asking for trouble. And as fate would have it, OBS 28 is a very large update that changes the architecture of the software and breaks every single plugin that you already have installed. Now, many of those plugins have been updated, but a few have not. Here's the current list. This is the OBS 28 plugin compatibility page. I'll put a link in the description down below. You can see that OBS NDI does not yet currently work and StreamFX is in alpha. Now, a lot of these other plugins do work, especially most of the ones that I generally tend to use, but things like Loop Deck are not fully functional, they just have a workaround. The OBS RTSP server is not yet available, which is what we use for multi-streaming and that sort of stuff. So there are still plenty of things that have not either been updated or are not yet working on OBS 28. Now I personally need stream effects and I'm not trusting an alpha build to my production PC. This is the main reason why I haven't switched. But even if stream effects plugin was in full release, I would probably still hold off for an update or two. And the reason is simple. I need the software to work for the work that I do. I can't leave it to chance, so I take as few chances as I possibly can. Now I know we live in a world where everyone downloads the newest update right away because it's the newest. It must be the best or it must fix something. But honestly, updates have actually gotten a lot less reliable than they were in the past. Companies just aren't doing proper testing anymore. And that makes you the tester these days. That means the software just isn't finished when these releases come out. So don't be the guinea pig for this software or any software on your production machine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, if you want to see the video on the new features in OBS 28, you can check this video out. Big thanks to the sponsors that support this channel. You can find their links down below in the description under the heading sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.